Okay, first step, the Ace Beam K65. That is the XHP 70.2 LED in that. Now the Ace Beam X80 GT 32,500 lumen. Ace Beam just sent me uh, one of their new lights for review. It's the a X80 GT, and some of you might remember I reviewed the original model in my video, Brightest Flashlights of 2017 Top 5 Best, and this here came out to be pretty much the king. It was definitely the brightest light, and now they have come out with a newer version, which uh, obviously the biggest change is this right here. Rather than having our red, green, blue, white, and UV LEDs in the center, we now have one, two, three, four, five, six additional XHP50 emitters in there. Other than that, mechanically it's about the same. We did get uh, one other accessory in the box. We got, we got a holster with this one, but we also got this little handle. Mostly to combat the heat, I think, but it's also kind of a nice little carry. You can just take this nut right off of there and thread it on. No tools required. Got some super nice threads. Great finish quality on this light, just like, well, all my ace beams. I did notice a few changes to the battery carrier, mostly in the way that it looks. I'm seeing about the same spring set in there, but I did notice we got slightly different batteries this time. The capacity says they're the same and they're roughly the same size, but on the top I did notice we got this new gold button instead of the old silver. Okay, so now according to my Malkalite calibrated setup, we are getting roughly these numbers for this light. You can see at turn on we got over 29,000 lumens, which I think is pretty good for their claim of 32.5, giving us a 5,787 lumen gain at turn on. Now you can see my next measurement is at 25 seconds, not 30, and that's because right around the 30 second mark is when the temperature sensor kicked in and I started seeing a fall in the output headed down toward the 4,000, so I backed up five seconds and we still were almost 5,000 lumens gain there. Once both timers had settled, I did see that we were actually a few hundred lumens over on the original versus the new, and most surprisingly, the original actually got hotter when the settle timer had finished. It did take a little bit longer, but I had about 20 degrees difference there. Now, some of you might be wondering, well, Matt, what about the Immolent DX80, the flashlight the internet is so proudly boasting to be the world's brightest flashlight every day? Does that mean the Ace Beam X80 GT is now the world's more brightest flashlight? Well, I'm glad you asked. Why don't we just have a look? Why don't we take a look and see just which one of these is really brighter, okay? First, we'll do the X80 GT. Ah, that's, that's pretty bright. Okay, now we'll do the Immolent DX80. Obviously, mine's broke. And I never said anything before, because why make a review about a broke flashlight? But I thought to myself, you know, what better time to bring up this objection than when I'm reviewing a competitor's product? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Seriously, though? I'm not beating up the, the DX80. I'm sure it's a great light, and the dealer that 
you know, sent this to me for review, uh, said that they would replace it when they got new stock. Let's take a peek at our modes real quick. We get a one click on, one click off with this light. From the on position, we can press and hold, and it'll cycle through our low, medium, high, like that. Our lowest mode's about 200 lumens on this, which is plenty good. Uh, to get to the super bright modes, you want to double click, and that gives you turbo, and then another double click is the 32,500 lumen turbo max. We also can triple click for strobe. Okay, first the Ace Beam X80 original. Now the GT. like the sun never went down. Okay, now there's one more light I want to compare this to, and it's this right here. Now, before you start making fun, that, that is my Surefire M6. It's an incandescent light. The reason is, 10 years ago this month is when I got real serious about this hobby. I'd been doing it a while longer, but that's when I joined Candle Power Forums and started taking it to the next level, and when... In 10 years ago, in August of 2008, the brightest small flashlight that you could buy was the Surefire M6. It was. There was, there was, there was big uh, HID lights out, but nothing like this. This is the closest size comparison that I could come up with, and so I thought we'd see just how far we've come in 10 years. Now, Ace Beam X80 GT. <laughs> For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Good lucks.